Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weavy Show. <laughs> special guest tonight please welcome for the third time back on the show comedian jeremiah watkins <laughs> yeah. yeah oh we can do the elbow thing yeah, we're is. doing the elbow yeah oh my goodness wow. the energy out there is crazy it feels weird out there it, it does it yeah does. yeah um, how have you been coping Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. You seem fine. I mean, you're not yeah. coughing. He's not coughing. Yeah. We're washing our hands. Yeah, well, I washed as soon yeah. as I got in here, just to be safe. And then uh, you did uh, Richie's plank experience, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> Explain to the viewer what you just did. <sighs> okay, so Steve said put on these VR goggles mm -hmm. and that I was going to uh, go up on top of a building. How, how high were you? So high. Would like, you say it was like, how would you, in comparison to like a building, like the the Empire State Building, was it that high? Yeah. I was looking out and I saw mountains. <laughs> what else did you see? I saw a helicopter that was circling. I saw... Other tall buildings? I saw t tons of other tall buildings. It in, felt like I was in... In New York, huh? Oh, I thought it was like Asia or somewhere. Like Asia, like China, maybe. Yeah, huh? because yeah. I saw like a bunch of buildings, but then mountains in the background. So yeah. I figured it, yeah, maybe. Did you see cars below you? I was just trying to look forward. Look forward. <laughs> yeah, I, I looked you down were, a little your bit. Your reaction was the most intense out of the other guinea pigs that I made do that. Yeah. Have your you your knees were shaking. I know. You are like, Can I, and so, you are like. <laughs> dude, so, yeah. so I'm going to be honest. Yeah, At go first, ahead. At first, I was hamming it up a little bit. I'm gonna be honest, but then it got me, and then oh. I was my. I was like, "Oh, I I can handle." And then I was like, "Oh, the oh, real no, it's the, got the me. real fear." You know, like when in. you sometimes are like you you joke about something, and then you're like, "Oh no, 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 I'm actually feeling this now." Yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> what was it like actually taking the leap of faith? I didn't like uh, it. <laughs> I didn't like it because it was, your body's. Every fiber in your body's fighting that, well, isn't it? Okay, so a couple years ago, I broke my arm dropping on off a ramp. Can we talk about it? Yeah. You were on your skateboard? Yeah. Was it a quarter, like a half pipe? Mm -hmm. You dropped like in a, on a half pipe. It was a quarter pipe. 
But still, I mean, it was just straight. It, but like, but it, it was went, too. It was just like, the vert was heavy, like pretty it steep. Was, it, I mean, the video. There's a video online. It's sad. Right. It's really sad. You're just. You, was it wet out? Was it raining or no, something? No, you just see an adult man, <laughs> just just go straight to the ground. And, and it's then just how did you land? How did you land? All of my weight like this. All on your this part, your I, shoulder. This is where I, I I broke my arm. It was right here. Oh my god. Yeah. So I I I, all the weight went right on this upper forearm area. For those of you who, because I've never broken my arm. Like yeah. What? How would you describe that experience? <sighs> At first, I was trying to be a man about it and power oh, through. Oh, because your friends were there. Oh yeah. <laughs> so they're oh, yeah. bro. Dude, yeah. They, so well, you I had like, a couple, a couple people that were there, uh, that were like, "You got this," you know. Like, yeah. And they were like, kind of pushing me to do it. So, it literally brought back really bad memories when you're like, "Just, just step out there," because like oh. I was like literally that when I started shaking, PTSD, all, yeah. all, all the memories of of me breaking Dude, my arm came, came back. back. So that yeah. wasn't good that I did that to you. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't good. I'm so sorry. I, no, I didn't know that story. No, it's okay. But it's the, okay. but on the positive note. You overcame a fear. It's true. I probably feel better about dropping in again now. Because you're going to fly after we're done with this. You're going to let me fly? I'm going to let you fly. So you don't let me just fall. You let me fly too. You're gonna, I'm going to let you fly like Superman. See, Every, you need to That's a happy it. ending, man. That's a happy ending. Can I get one of these? Yeah, of course you Are can. Are we allowed to since with the corona going on? <laughs> Are we the <laughs> only ones podcasting tonight? No, I've talked to other people who who literally podcasted earlier in the, in the day. Let's, the hear, about, let's hear about it. What's everyone's attitude like? I'll tell you what it's like at the grocery store. Everything's sold out, but tell me what you you know what's oh, going on. Oh, in the on. podcasting community, yeah. what it is. Some people are freaked out and they're not leaving their home. Like I've texted some people to to like, hey, do you want to do my podcast next week? And they're like, no, no, <laughs> no, nah, dude, no. Nah. Yeah, but then other people you are saved like, my week. Oh, good. Because Brittany Furland was supposed to come. And, and then she. Yeah, I, I, I just, I, you know, contacted her over the week. Just, to, you know, heads up. Hey, yeah. see you in a few hey, days. In. See you in a few days. And she goes, what? No, quarantine. What? You know, I'm like. And but then, go ahead. The mayor said. What do you say? This is a necessity. He marked podcasting as a necessity. That's a real thing. On the list of things, it's this is. Ne- yeah. Radio broadcast and podcasting is a necessity. To continue to do so we can put out content for other people that's a real thing i in mean a, are LA. we supposed to be talking because when me and you get together it's silly and we <laughs> talk about like serious topics <laughs> i had a fun time on yours by the way oh you were great i wanted to apologize firstly to your mother oh no she loves you no i feel like i disrespected no. her i crossed the line it's, white people are different than korean people there's are they not like, is it, there's not can like you call her up can i can i make an amends on air she's probably sleeping in, bed. Yeah. in kansas she works sleeping. at ups so okay she's okay wake up well let her know okay this is the things i want you to tell her or yeah. i'll tell her I'll okay, be like, okay okay i would never wrestle her because i don't do that i used to in 1993 and i would never if we wrestled different. right now you would take me Look how small I am. Yeah, but you probably have better form than me. Yeah, but I'm like I'm so odd. Like, I mean, look now, at this. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I mean, it's not as bad as now, my brother. Now, us wrestling right now yeah. would probably be a big no, no. No, because people once would, one, people once, like, oh, they're getting all if close. If my girl saw the, us grappling, <laughs> that I think that would. Be, <laughs> I think I, I think it would end it. I mean, she would be like. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are we dumb to be doing this right now? No. You just said it's a necessity. I think it's a necessity. Other people are saying, what are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Well, nobody's... When when it gets uploaded, nobody's going to be upset. Right, right, right. Hey, don't record, but oh, she, I'll watch it when it. But she's uploaded. more scared of this. Us being in close quarters like yeah, this? Yeah, because she doesn't know who you seen. She doesn't know who uh, Ren seen. Right. They don't... We don't know... What have you been doing? Have you been going out? No. Oh, I, I want to know it, going... a day in the life of of quarantine uh, time for Jeremiah. Like what? Okay, so you wake you woke you wake up at uh, eight or nine in the morning. Yeah, like nine o'clock, nine nine thirty. What have you been doing? Give me a typical day. Uh, lately, you know what's funny? I've been I've been um, I've been taking Spanish classes online. Good for you to be productive. Good for you because I haven't taken Spanish since high school. Yeah. And I've, it's something that I've wanted to, to get good at. I want to become fluent. Yeah. That's the goal, obviously. Do you know the cur- curse words? 
Ah, uh, some of them. Ponocha. Yeah. Uh, tetas. What's that one? Boobs. <laughs> what else? A uh, culo. What's that? Butthole, right, Ren? Culo. Yeah. Uh, que onda? Que onda? Que onda? What's That's that? That's slang for what's up. So this is actually stuff that I haven't been learning <laughs> in the classes. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I learned from the dude because I've been going to this uh, same Seven Eleven, and the security guy he teaches me all the bad words. Really? Yeah. Uh, comida. That's food. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> well, you threw, uh, you threw uh, a curveball uh, yeah. at me uh, to mi, make sure that I was actually prima. learning. Your first? My cousin. Oh, your cousin. Yeah. Okay. Hija, Primera, hija. is that first? Primer. First. Uno, yeah, number one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's good. So yeah, what yeah. what words have you been learning? Uh, estoy aprendiendo. Uh, I am here. I have. Más palabras en español. Más palabras. I've been learning words. more words in Spanish. Words. I don't know any of that. I only know tetas, like, panocha. Like, yeah. So you'd survive and if you went to culo. Mexico? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Yeah, they yeah. would laugh at me or like they would look at me. You'd be like, like oh, no. <laughs> no, they'd be like, culo, culo, no. culo. Or uh, ch uh, chino loco. Chino loco? Or coreano. Who, what's chino? Chinese. Oh. Crazy Chinese. Now, oh, no, no. Pinchi chino. What does that what's mean? What's Korean? And coreano. Coreano? Coreano. Oh, that's a fun They one. always say, they Coreano. call me, they say pinchi coreano or pinchi chino. What does that mean? It's like, oh. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of hate towards my peoples right now, right? Oh, I heard. They're the getting, bash Oh, online. I mean, I saw this poor video of just some Asian kid walking down a normal street. Da -da 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 -da. Just... Oh, you're saying yeah. actual physical violence? Yeah. Oh, I haven't yeah, seen yeah. any of those. Oh, videos. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, have no, you no. seen that? Like physical. Uh, I, I think. Look up China Man. I think you you go to different blog sites than than we do. The, oh, the <laughs> oh, World Star, <laughs> World Star. Yeah, um, and I've been getting a bit defensive too, just walking down the street. Yeah. Because I'm. It's mostly. You feel like you are getting more looks. Do you feel like? Yeah, that? I do. I went to Ralph's today, and uh, maybe it's well, in my that's mind. How, that's how you know I'm a real friend. Thank Scissor you. Brothers for Life, man. Let's do Okay. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I was walking around today, and I went, I, this guy passed by me, and I was going like this. And the look that he gave me, he was like. <laughs> Can we reenact it? Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> so just okay. look at me with disgust. Okay, so I have my shopping cart. Okay. Card. No, this is outside around. Oh, this is outside yeah. Ralph's. Okay. Like so I'm, am I walking in? Yeah. No, no, no. We're, you're walking one direction. I'm walking towards Ralph's. So you're walking away from Ralph's. Okay. Okay. Can I be on my... Yeah, yeah I'm going to be on my cell phone. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I just can't believe everything that's going on. With... <laughs> Teresa, I'm going to have to call you back. Listen up, you little... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> But, oh, no, he gave me one of these, too. He gave me that initial, like, like that. But then he did the second glance. He did the look back. Yeah, he did the look back. He went. He did a double take. He gone. And he shook his head. And I spit to the side. <laughs> did, you, did you hawk? I hawked one. <laughs> I went. <laughs> and I spit to the side. And Did that you? didn't make me look good at all. It basically confirmed it his, confirmed everything. It confirmed his it confirmed thoughts everything. towards the Asians. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. I was right all along. This disgusting coronavirus guy. Coreano. 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 Chino. Pinche. Pinche coreano. Pinche coreano. Dude, Latino people, they, 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 they show me love. They haven't looked at me that way. It's the guy. It, this guy was bigger. He was white, but blanco. <laughs> Pinchy, what is it? Uh, Pinchy hueto. Diablo blanco. <laughs> so, how are how are you getting your groceries? And tell me about your survival um, stock and your tactics and what you've been doing. Uh, I've been going on a lot of hikes or walks with my wife. You've been exercising. Yeah. What? Yeah, I know. Were you? You're not supposed to. Are we? That, that's another that's another necessity. We're a lot we're there there's a list of things that they issued that Tell are the considered viewers and listeners, necessities. LA for County, life. go ahead. 
uh, LA around. I don't know how strict it is in different places, oh, but man. there's a list of things that the mayor put out of things that are quote unquote essentials. Okay. Which are podcasting is an essential. So you can tell your girlfriend that. Yeah, it's an and essential. And th- also that the Diablo Blanco is no, no real, no. <laughs> That's un, essential. As un persona muy bien. Oh. Okay. okay. Si. <laughs> okay. Stevie, we be en español. <laughs> Bing. Vámonos. Vámonos. Yeah. Hola. <laughs> uh, we should, um, yeah, we should, we should try should to. Should we try to? We should try to do a small a podcast is podcast Spanish? In okay, Spanish. I'll try right now. Okay, all right. Uh, mi amo es Esteban. Uh, Hola, Esteban. Uh, mi, Co- y, mi yo vivo. ¿Cómo vivas? estás? Uh, bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien. Uh, yo, vivas, no, no estoy enferma. No, <laughs> no, no enferma. No. Mi vivas en la, Los Angeles. Los Angeles, sí. Aquí. Aquí. Uh, uh, mi, uh, en tu casa. Mi, uh, es muy bonita. Uh, oh, sí. gracias, gracias. Sí, sí. Uh, how do you say I have? Yo tengo. Yo tengo uh, un perro que uh, eh, eh, llama Kirby. En uh, vivas en mi uh, novia uh, de ¿Tu casa. Pe- ¿Tu perro? Mi novia es uh, padre y madre de casa. Oh, de tu... casa. Ah. Uh, West Covina. El perro. <laughs> El perro. Sí. Sí. A blanco, <laughs> yeah, blanco, uh, uh, a bonito, mm-hmm. Kirby. Kirby. ¿Y tú? Uh, no tengo un perro. No tengo. Pero ¿Tienes me novia? gusta, me gustan tortugas. Tortugas, oh. ¿cómo es? Mi amor es tortuga. Un, Mi amor. un tur- turtle. Oh, ¿Cómo tío. se dice? Turtle en. Oh, turtle. Tortuga oh. es turtle. So, okay. <laughs> Ren, how was that? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mi novia es uh, ya, llama uh, de Ailani. Es, es muy... No, bonita. Es oh. mucho bonita. Tu novia? Es sí. mi mo, mo, mujer. Right? Mm-hmm. Mi esposa es, es, mi mujer. es bonita. Es también. Bonita, también. Sí. también. Es mi novia. Uh, aquí, uh, how do you say I've been with? Uh, uno, dos, tres... Oh, tres años aquí oh, ya con, tres años? con mi novia y yo. ¿En esta casa? Aquí, no, 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 a, aquí? no aquí. ¿No aquí? Mi novia viva. ¿Cerca? ¿Cerca? Mi novia viva, eh, padre y madre. Oh. Avar, avar. En el otro. En West Covina. West Covina. Yeah. En Verdad. la ciudad de yes. West Covina. <laughs> sí, 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 sí. Ren, is that pretty good? It's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Damn, All right, We're doing ten, it. ten more. One. Wait, uno, uh, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve y diez. Okay. Is that pretty good? For a Korean guy and a white guy, that's not bad in L.A., right? Yeah. No, but this is just, I'm trying to learn off you. I don't know that much vocabulary. Like, oh, oh, Chile, mi Chile. What is the chile? A uh, penis. Oh, you just, you grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you grabbed uh, it. That's a chile? 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 I don't, I've never heard that. Mi chile? Like, like, no. I think that's a Korean. Hoto? Oh, no, that's like, that's like... What's hoto? Oh, okay. Someone I, called me hoto once. Wave, huevos. Huevos? Sometimes it's called that slang, right? Huevos? Ball. Like eggs? Balls? Yeah, huevos. Huevos. Do you know what hoto means, Steve? No. It means like gay person. Oh, oh someone gay called gay me that a few times. Pinche hoto. <laughs> It's okay. Coreano Hoto. Coreano de Hotos. That's a good name for a band. It is. Coreano de Hotos. Coreano de Hotos. You want to form one? <laughs> what is the, what is the, wanna, what's the meaning of your band, uh, dude? Gay Korean. Gay don't Koreans. Worry. Yeah. Gay Koreans. Would you be in my band if I we named it that? I don't know about that. Can we record something, I want to record something can we record, with you. Can okay, we please can we do, record something? Can we do, how about a holiday album? I mean, okay. Or a Halloween album. <laughs> All right. I definitely want to be on the keys. Okay. And I want I'll you be to be on the... Okay. And then can we do... We can I want to s- do uplifting music. I'm all about that. I love positive um, music. But like seriously, like high energy, positive... Like almost... Like positive messages? Like, like positive upbeat, messages like... where we both could sing. I want to okay. sing. I want to do... 
kind of a like a maybe a Simon and Garfunkel, but more melodic. Okay. Without the guitars, more like, yeah, yeah. something like that. Okay. Can we do that? Yeah. How? Uh, oh, you have a studio around. Dude. I mean, we can, can we record. Go to the studio? Yeah. We could go to the place. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do we have to? I've got places to to record. To record. Yeah. Uh, what do we need? Especially to if we want to do demoish stuff before we take it to like the proper studios. I have I have the equipment and means to do like demos easily. And like then, what do you? Let, let's. I want to talk about that. I'm interested in that. Like, yeah. what do you use for your demo so, process? So I mean, there's uh, there's keyboards and stuff that are accessible at the studio that we could plug in like quarter inch, like mm-hmm. into literally a Zoom or some kind of recording device mm-hmm. where you you'd play on keys. We yeah. re- record that first. So it's like a, a Zoom, just like that. It's a Zoom recorder like that. Yeah, we'd plug in the a keyboard like an electric piano. Oh, into we could that. play. It. Oh, you're right at the same time. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and then we could plug in mics to it. We could literally lay down, use the Zoom as an interface, and it would work. Like, just to record, like, a demo kind of thing. Oh, I never thought of that. Yeah, and then you put in GarageBand, and then, yeah, you know, yeah. massage it a little I bit. I love GarageBand. Me too. I love Me GarageBand. Too. I love Can we talk about the stuff that your album, the Regan Watkins, like, how did that do? I mean, like, yeah, yeah and then people were receptive towards people re- yeah. The people who listened to it really liked it. Yeah, uh, of course. I have uh, it right there. I know. I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Um, are you going to record another one with uh, Regan? Or? Uh, we'll see. Right now, I've just been focusing on stand-up. I mean, obviously, right now, everything's up in the air with that. Okay, that's a good topic. Yeah. How are the stand-ups surviving in, during this pandemic? I want to talk about that. Cheers to uh, at least podcasting mm-hmm. right now. Um. I think oh well, I think it's a little funky right now because uh for me that's mainly how I make my money is off of touring. I know. You got to leave LA and right now all travel is banned. I read so. your tour dates, remember? I know you I did. was reading them out. And guess what? Sacramento. All those got moved There's... or some of them got canceled. So, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. You got to do that. How are we going to get how when is it this going to end? <laughs> I I hate it. Do you? I I, I like that what's, aspect what's, what's of your, isolation. I what's like, your typical routine? I gotta be honest. I've been really just. Have you been sleep, sleeping a lot? I've been sleeping a lot. I think. Have I've you been, been going depressed. on any walks? I have. Walks to the grocery are good. store. Yeah, I have. Um, Even I if need, it's not to a grocery our, we store. We need sunlight. We we yeah. need the sunlight. All right. Yeah. So we need the sunlight. I recommend going on some more walks because my thing is Can I, I love run- sleep. If if I start sleeping too much, I just want it more and more and more, and then I keep chasing that. So that's why I've been waking up at like a specific time every day. So I'll be as tired by the time I fall asleep, like at night. Are you afraid of getting the the corona? Because I've been dealing with that mentally as well. I think everybody has. I mean. I think it's normal for everybody to be have anxiety at some point being like to check, go check symptoms online. Like, Oh, th- like I've got this weird pain in my side all of Sore a sudden. Throat, or, yeah. Anything like cough. that. Yeah. Um, ha- have cause you, I have allergies. So I do too. And yeah. So I get a, do you get a stuffy nose and I get like, I get a runny nose. Yeah. Like just, just from out. Al- and I've like, it's Claritin. Though. That, yeah. That'll exactly. Clear that up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think that a part of me, I mean, I'd hate to admit it, and you know, but I thought of this. I kind of wish I already had it, so I could just get it over with. I know. Because they said, didn't the mayor or the L.A. County say fifty-one percent, fifty-four percent of people in L.A. are going to eventually get it in the next something like three that. months or something? Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. So yeah, so I, I kind of just want to. Le- don't you want to just get it over right with? now? Just do like, it while everything's shut down. That'd be ideal. Because you could just deal with it. But they're doing drive through testings now. Wait a in minute. In downtown LA. I just heard about that. So are you so you just drive up and they yeah. put something in your Open mouth. your mouth, kid. Oh my god. So <laughs> So I, when I, you get it, what do we that's do? That's an exaggeration. I don't think that the person They'll would be like, Open your mouth, kid. <laughs> but I think that that would be more enjoyable if somebody with a hook hand and a yellow trench coat was the checkpoint person. Yeah. yeah open your mouth. Well, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, um, are you official? To that? Yeah. I'm official. I would. I would love that. Right. I, I think that that'd be more enjoyable. Get it over with. Get it. Would we be able to survive? I'm a little older than you. I'm in my 40s. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's in his 20s. You're in your 20s, 30s, right? 31 now. 
twenties, thirties, forties. This is wow. a good uh, thing compared. Now that's what 20s, I call 30s, aging. 40s. Volume five. So I would do the worst if I if I got it. I would die before you two. Right? Would you though? I don't know. Are you a smoker? No. Oh, there you go. Is that dip? No, it's nicotine. Is it a pouch? Pou- it's a nicotine pouch. A pouchy. Yeah. So that's all I do. Oh. No drugs, no alcohol, just What's this. that like? Do you get a little bit of a buzz um, from well, it? Well, that's, <laughs> that's good like? that you brought it up because I've had, I had to struggle with chewing tobacco basically ha- like a lot, a lot of years, a lot of years. Yeah. Where my teeth this are start, turning this brown. Tearing up your lower. Oh, yeah. yeah. Skull Mint, Kodiak, Grizzly Wintergreen, and the ladies, you know, doesn't help with the ladies. That's a very like... Uh, white dude thing i know but i wrestled in from a town called poway and the right. most of my most of my teammates were white Re- guys reason why i say that like most of the guys who i went to high school with dipped most of the guys Did they try to peer pressure you hey watkins i mean get over here pussy put this in your mouth Watkins. <laughs> wait huh <laughs> Uh, I think I think I would definitely went through that at, at yeah. certain points in high school since I don't do drugs and I and I haven't tried it before. I think that I think the people who like try to peer pressure you are usually the people who don't know you. If you have established that you don't like doing something or yeah. you don't want to do something, most people respect your wishes. Who are yeah, your friends? Right. It's more the people who feel uncomfortable around you because they don't know you where they think that you are a judging snitch, them. Like yeah. a snitch. No, no, that's what it feels like. like it feels like, like you're a narc who's just hanging out. They're right, like, well, why, right. what's this dude doing here yeah, if he's not joining in I can see that, on yeah. this? So yeah. they're paranoid like, dude, take a hit. Yeah. You're making us uncomfortable. Yeah. Who are you? Like I like I have this joke in, in, in my act about going to a cocaine party, but I don't really... So I went to a cocaine party sober and i <laughs> why did you go to a cocaine party i didn't know with, i didn't Jeremiah? know i I, did, I heard it was a party i didn't know it was a cocaine party i walked in and well, just i would i'm dying to know what the first thing you saw walking into a cocaine party was cocaine <laughs> i know it's cocaine but was like it like i picture scarface I'm picturing for a my Scarface Kansas mind, this, dude. This was back in <laughs> 2009 or 10. This was me fresh off the boat from Kansas. I want to hear all describe the whole story. I want to hear about. Okay, so I had these rowdy neighbors next door who I lived in a duplex. It was the first place that LA? I lived in. This is in LA. When this is on first... Coenga. This is re- yeah. Oh, this is on Coenga. Yeah, this is on Coenga. Oh, okay. Like Santa Monica and Coenga. So this, what year was this? 2009. 2009. 2009, 2010, okay. somewhere in there. I'm like, my eyes are being opened at all of LA culture you and everything do, like that. You just get involved. Well, I, it wasn't even that. I, these just happened to be my friends that I made next door who I was living next to in this duplex. I live in this the front half of... Uh, the duplex it was like uh yeah. the a side and like mm-hmm. the b side right what were these guys like they were super nice uh but they like loved to party and were i thought that like, that was, like, were crazy. They like jockish like yeah bro uh not really they were like more zen like dude do you want to go party like, oh yeah, they were yeah. like that yeah they were okay, like that's more tolerable like, one of them was like yeah. a very like like pretty boy model-esque guy who's like I'm, I'm gonna take the world by storm i'm gonna act i'm gonna You're do right, photography right, right. i'm gonna do this and then the other guy was like this chill mexican dude that was just like man we're just here to have a good time man right, you know right right, right. gotcha so gotcha, it was, gotcha. It was, it was that mentality and uh they let me hang out over there because uh, I didn't have any friends in the neighborhood when I moved in. Like I literally, I was very outgoing coming yeah, so, from Kansas. <laughs> right. So did the, they like, both I, come to your door? No, I did. I was like, "Hey, I'm your neighbor." And oh, you knocked on their oh, door. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You're asking for you yeah. knocked on their door. Yeah, I'm like, "Hey, how's it going?" Like, like I literally. That's how I became friends with okay, them. Okay, let's act it out. You're, let's act it out. You're, <laughs> you're the neighbors. I'm you. Okay. Okay. How's that? <laughs> Hello? Hey guys, just you know, just happening to see what's going on tonight. What are you guys up to? Who, I'm your who neighbor. Are you, who are you? Jeremiah. I live in a uh, unit C. I'm right behind. I'm right next to you. Oh. Yeah. What are you guys up well, to? Can I come up, in? Man? Uh, sure. Yeah. Cool. Uh, wh- where are you from, man? Kansas. 
Really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Huh. He's a comedian. Yeah. R- really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm an actor. Cool, cool. Yeah. Cool. What have you been in? Uh, you know, just some student films just and some. Cool, in, I, cool, I audition cool. a lot and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I just see yeah. you guys hanging out. Can I? Can, can I hang out? I mean, nobody really does it like this, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what, that was so, what was I'm going on. I'm so sorry. No, 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 it was great. I'm it was so great. sorry. No, no, I'm no. So literally, sorry. that's what they thought of me. Was okay. literally they thought of like nobody like approaches people like, like this. That. But I just but went you're from right. Kansas. How you supposed that's to how we know, do, man? Well, no, exactly. That's how that's how we do it. Is okay. we go straight up to you and we're like, hi. Okay, I'm let Jeremiah. me play the guy. I'm the neighbors now. You just be you. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> oh, Frank, who is it? I don't know. Is someone knocking? Oh, dude, I think someone's knocking. Are you sure? <laughs> Hello? Hey, how's it going? I'm, I'm, I just moved in. Uh, up front, I'm Jeremiah. What's your name? Oh, cool. My name's uh, Mark uh-huh. and Frankie. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, Mark. Hey, What's Frankie. Up, nice we, to meet you yeah, guys. Cool. How long you been uh, next door? Uh, I, I just moved in. So, yeah, I just wanted to say hey and, uh, oh, cool. and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just want to say hi. Well, I'll, 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 I'm going to be your neighbor, so we'll cool. probably be seeing hey, more hey, of each I'm other. And hang out and yeah, yeah. I, I'd love to hang out. Okay, well, we there's a hey, for, what's that, Frank? There's there's a party tonight if you want to roll with. Really? Yeah, we could drive you. I, I would love that. Yeah. Well, what time should I be down here? Oh, uh, hold on. We're gonna. What time do you get the pizza? Uh, okay, yeah, uh, maybe in about two hours. Perfect. You can come I'll, in. I'll and be hanging out. Do you smoke right weed? Right no, uh, no, I don't smoke, but, but I hang out. Oh, okay, okay, you just want to hang out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah, cool. I literally. I'm used an to actor, say, by the way. I'm say, an actor, by the way. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, cool. I've been into some student I, I'm, films. Uh, I came out here to do comedy, so cool. We have that well, in common. maybe That's I cool. could put you because uh, we're writing something right Dude, now. Dude, anything? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like a true romance. I'm totally down. Uh, yeah, type it, deal. You need, like some kind of comedic relief or something. Yeah, yeah. We need the funny a uh, neighbor type. That's me. Perfect, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, Frankie, yeah. Okay, order the pizza, bro. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just we'll just get you when when the party's about to happen. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, cool. great to meet you guys. Yeah, cool. I'll, I'll see you soon. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, that was good. <laughs> uh okay. no, I w- I used to say that all the time. I'll still do that. Uh sometimes when people are like, hey, you want to smoke? I'm like, nah, but I'll hang out. <laughs> I say that all the time. And what are what are their responses? Well, at first they're like, "That's what? a curveball." Well, they, yeah, they're like, "Wait, what does that mean?" And then yeah. I and I just stay there. And then they're like, "Ah, oh, I guess he's chill." <laughs> yeah, they, they, they just roll past it real quick. You I'm know? dying to hear like the way oh, this story okay, goes. Okay, so okay, we just acted that first part out. Right, right, right. Two, let's let's fast forward two hours later. Okay, so okay. are they driving? When, yes. Okay. So we ended up going to this hotel somewhere in L.A. It, it might have been the Roosevelt. I don't remember exactly where it was. I feel like it was somewhere like on Hollywood Boulevard or Sunset. It was a very nice, very nice hotel. Five star? I think so. It's for, like the Roosevelt? For my standards yeah. and my Kansas eyes, who knows what how right. nice it is if I go there now. Was it like an Art Deco hotel or one of these classic uh, historical hotels like the Roosevelt? It was like the Roosevelt where it was. we went to, into this like suite. You went into a suite? It was a suite. Because you walk in and there's like some mirrors on the wall and stuff and like some people, a couple people had taken off their shoes, I think. But you go and it literally in the middle of the room was this table and giant lines of cocaine like in the middle of the table. And I walked in. I'm like, oh, this is like not just a normal party. This is a cocaine party. Cocaine party. party. Yeah, yeah. Were there how many gals to... How many gals to guys? What types of people were there? It wasn't like a, a huge gathering. Like there was like a, there's only like a handful of guys and a handful of girls. And they were all like, they're like, Sur- sitting, they're <laughs> just all, the everybody's co- sitting down at the table. Like that was the party. That was the focus. So of they're the there to do cocaine. They're there to do cocaine. That's they're like, sit so- down, man. And I'm like, okay, okay. That's uh, so weird. It was weird. Yeah. It was really weird. So so I sit down and I had drank a Red Bull to like pregame for the night. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was your pre-game, beer. Get in the zone. Yeah, dude. to get in the Red Bull so zone. I'm, so I'm going like this and stuff, yeah. and I'm like, uh, I'm uh, I'm naturally like I'm I fidgety. move a lot and I'm yeah. very fidgety. And, and so they probably thought, oh, he, he he's here for the cocaine. Right. Well, they literally look at me and they they go, dude, what are you on, man? And oh, I go, wow. oh, I 
Come Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> and and they're like, oh, and the, you know they start doing coke in front of me and stuff, and I just, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm just kind of watching, and then like, uh, and then you know they start getting a lot of like yeah, kind of like yeah. grindy and like big eyes yeah, and stuff like that, yeah. and uh, yeah, it was very like, but I was chill, like I just hung. You just hung, I just out hung out with a bunch of coke heads yeah. in a random they, ballroom and type room. Those neighbors, they would like we would go to club, we go clubbing. Like when I first went, I would, I, I would like, I would love I, to hear about that. I would, I you would, were like, <laughs> oh, I would dance. You I, were dancing. I here's here's the thing. I would dance like crazy, but here's the thing. I didn't know the time that they were rolling on ecstasy, so I was trying to keep up with them. And oh, by the end no. of the night, I would be. So tired, tired because they're raging all yeah, night. I'm like, but they're on oh, Molly. This, but they're on Molly. I have no context for this. So I'm just like, oh, I don't want to be like, I don't want to let them down by like, like, like they would sometimes they'd be like dancing. I'd start to like kind of like slow down there. Right. And then they'd be like, ha, 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 why aren't you dancing? I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so was it like, like, doom, doom, doom. Oh, that kind of music for sure. Yeah, I would be pouring sweat. That's what I try to stay away from. Well, it was that. Well, that that's the thing. I would get such a headache, and I'd be like, you know, I, I'm so out of here. I literally went to. Did different... you guys pick up on chicks? They would. So they were like I just, suave. I, yeah, one of them was. One of them was really good looking. Then the other dude would just be. He would get the spill off. He was the spill off friend. That's you know okay. what I mean? That's okay. <laughs> the the friend that's always there that gets the the table scraps from the good looking one. That's that's half my life. There you go, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> that's half my life. <laughs> they should you're, just you're a spill off friend, dude. What was that's that? Okay. On you're my a tombstone. Spill-off. Yeah. <laughs> Stevie the spill off. <laughs> Stevie led table a li- scraps. Led a life of table scraps. <laughs> yeah. Literally. <laughs> table scraps. Yeah. And then I literally I'm in LA. I'm a virgin. I'm not like trying to close still, a deal. That's right. You're yeah. still a virgin. Yeah. Oh my god. It was at a time when I when I was uh I was, I was like, oh, I'm saving it for marriage for right. sure. Did you tell the, your two neighbors that information? No. Because I'm going to tell you why I asked that. Because they might have had a different vibe towards you. Of course. We're going to get you laid, oh, bro. absolutely. Tonight's the night, oh, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah bro. Yeah. We're getting you laid. No, no, no. I, I literally, it would come up every once in a while. what they say? They were like, wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean, what? <laughs> like when they would find out that I hadn't slept with the girl they, yet. They couldn't process that yeah. information. Oh no! Yeah. They're like, what? Yeah, you and I'm like, an alien? <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? What? Huh? Alien? You? Yeah. I don't get this. Yeah. Yeah. It was very yeah. foreign to them. That's so crazy. Yeah. Did you ever get tempted where a woman wanted to take a virginity at one of these club scenarios? I think, looking back, I definitely had opportunities with different women over the years yeah but when you're so ignorant Mm -hmm. to the opposite sex yeah you don't know what like an advancement or like a a pass is at you you know what i mean right you don't even know you don't even register it so it's all (laughs) going you're like man she just likes talking to me yeah i was you know i was in arizona at arizona state and i was actually in this girl's dorm room where she couldn't have made it more obvious, where her face was literally right here. Yeah. And I was like, just, it was like, I froze. Yeah. I was just like, oh, you got a mini fridge over there, huh? You know? Dude, I remember <laughs> like multiple. Like, embarrassing. I remember in in high school, this would happen multiple times where it was very clear my friend would he would invite like a girl over to his place mm-hmm. or something like that, and they would invite a second girl, and I was oh, there, and, and they would start no... they would start making out on the couch, yeah, and then the girl would look over at me, and then I, and <laughs> <laughs> I ten scissors for that one, one two, two, three, four, five, five six. six. Seven, eight, eight, nine, 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 nine. Wow, we I think we have that so ingrained. I mean, that's just the fabric of who we were. Yeah. 
Uh, they would look at know, me like I, well, okay i knew at that moment i'm not judging you because i just told you what i did right i knew at that moment that she was expecting me to make out with her but like oh. but like I, i'm looking at her and i'm like i'm just not attracted to this friend you know what i mean yeah I so have, I literally, yeah. it would be the most cringeworthy, awkward moments where literally my good friend is making out with the girl. How far away you and I are like, mm, mm, yeah, mm. yeah. And, and I'm literally the girl. What like, was, was your brain like hamster wheel? Oh, me? I always did that hamster. Wheel, oh, like, yeah. I overthink it. Oh, I'm like, overthinking well, everything. Well, like, oh, dude, she didn't really look at me. Yeah. You know, I, she just, you know, she just she wants to be my friend. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. I should... got one more. I have one. I, I'm not going to say it tops that, but it's pretty damn close. Maybe even worse. Yeah. So this was winter break. Um, I met these two attractive girls on camp. I don't know how I went to the, one of them was um, red, you know, she was a ginger. The mm -hmm. other one was a brunette. And they, they're like, they, I was in with them. I was in, man. And they were like, they had a camp, they had an apartment off campus. Yeah. And so I was there one night. <laughs> this is how bad I was. This is pathetic. I was, I used to party there, and it was just me. Yeah. Partying with two hot chicks, and then one night, I, I just, I passed out. I got too drunk, and they both went into their separate rooms, and they turned off the light in the li the living room area had like a couch and so i was like you know doing my little like i was like just cuddled up and just like trying to sober up and literally maybe seven to ten minutes passed and then i heard a, a, a door creak <coughs> creak and this g girl was basically in her undies and like a half shirt and she basically said uh do you want to mess around and then you know my response was, <laughs> I went, no, I'm okay. <laughs> Dude, so I went like this. I go, this is how dumb I was. I go, no, I, I, I'm okay out here. No, I'm good. Thank you. And so, and thank you so, for, thank you for asking. And so she literally creaked, closed the door. <sighs> listen, and my reaction, oh my I'm so sorry for telling you this story. I love this. But I my love reaction this. was. It was, it hit me like a ton of bricks. My brain, I was like, like the other like conscious part, yeah, like yeah. The, the, the normal rational side was like, what the hell are you doing, loser? Yeah, get it together. And, and so I even did one of these, but like, cause I waited, it was in my, br you know how like once you make a bad decision, that that window closes, sure. But then you're in your mind, and it's an hour later, and you're still kind of trying to figure it out. So, uh, like an hour passed, and I'm like, just it's you could go and knock on the door now. So I actually, like a pathetic hamster, I got up and I was like, and I got this close to the door, and you backed away, and didn't you? Away. Yep, yep. Been there, dude. I'm so. You know what's I'm weird? I'm so ashamed. You know what's weird is so I um, bef I've I literally have not many interactions with uh. That sounds so scientific. I don't have many interactions with uh females. Uh, I I've not I haven't kissed many women in my life. Okay. Yeah. Like I don't in, think in, I have that much either. Like in general. Yeah. Like especially before my wife. Right. Right. And what was weird about the switch that happened with when I started dating my wife, I fake I I literally faked it till I made it in that relationship. What do you mean by fake? Like faking your technique? Like what do you confidence? About? Everything. I literally decided one day I was like, I'm the man. I literally was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna start it. going on dates. I literally said that. I literally said that mm -hmm. before I was so con I was so concerned about what other people thought of me, like in high school and stuff. I had a bunch of girls who liked me, but I was so concerned about the politics. Like, you know, when it, if you start dating a certain girl uh, in high school, pe certain idiots or whatever might give you crap or whatever. Like, yeah. oh, you're dating that girl. Why are you dating that girl? Yeah. So like you end up missing out on things 
uh, of experiences and stuff Absolutely. because well, you're the, in your head church, about other people. The church didn't help. The teen church groups yeah, didn't help. Yeah, that didn't help either. You're, <laughs> the yeah. church, Hume Lake Church yeah, Retreat didn't yeah. help. Yeah, yeah. You're going to yeah. hell if you have if you sex. Even look. If you, have, oh, no, if no, you even you look in the lustfully. direction lustfully of a woman, <laughs> you're, going to hell. you're going to hell you're forever. You're burning in hell. You're burning in a lake of yeah. fire. That yeah, that doesn't help. That, that definitely help doesn't help. No, no, definitely. Continue. That's, yeah. Um, oh, I got one more story for you. Do you? I, oh, I got one more. I'm but, excited. No, no, yeah, I got one more. Yeah, so I like with, with my wife, I literally, when we started dating and stuff, I just changed my perspective entirely because I was, you, I was man. like, I was literally like for years, I was like worried about just everything about like, I didn't, I literally didn't want to hear the tone in family's voice like who you're seeing somebody i literally feared everything oh you were in fear like me i was in fear yeah yeah and then i just i literally threw it all away i was just like no i'm gonna start dating girls i'm gonna start kissing <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah yeah like, which sounds so it may, pathetic i'm happy weird, that you made like, that decision but though. i but I, I think I'm more talking about it because, like, I, if there's anybody out there, like, who's listening or watching this. I was just going to add on to that. It's one of those things where it's, like, don't hinge upon what other people think about you, especially, like, in your formative years when you're growing Dude, up. Because it's gotta literally just go it's just for not it, worth man. it. Because there's a be... college kid right now that's going to end up listening to this alone in his dorm room, right? Yeah. It's like a break, and he's sitting there looking at his laptop. He hasn't got laid yet in college, and he's li- he might listen to this yeah. and be like, "Wait a minute, these two guys, I don't have to make that mistake that Jeremiah and Stevie did." <laughs> it's true. I, I could We're ch- saving you years. I could change that. It's, a, it's all what right I'm saying. Now. It's all a state of mind, it's and you your can mind. literally, you can literally. It's like the video game that we played. Yeah, it can. It's all in your mind, and the thing is, your it, your mind's a powerful tool. It could do good for you, but it also could, it also could be your worst enemy. It can be. So you want to hear my third I would love humiliating to hear third. story? Because it's or only second. Scissor Brothers it's tradition Scissor Brothers. for you to do it in threes. Okay, threes. Okay, so oh, this, this so is back at fun. ASU. I used to skateboard um on campus. Sure. You know, and of then of course. What kind uh, of now? What kind of I, pavement was it? Was it? It like, was smooth. What, I mean, it was basically. Was it, it the kind where you you it was it smooth? Yeah, it was smooth though. It could have been a skate park. Really? Yeah. If it wasn't for campus police, it could have been. Got around quick. I've got a lot of tickets and my board taken away, oh, but wow. like, okay. but there's this one particular brunette again, really hot. I mean, just a voluptuous, hot college girl, you know. Yeah. She'd always like one of like outside of a, you know like the one of these buildings. She goes, "Let me write your board," you know, and then I got her number, you know, and yeah. then I set it up to the point where I did have you know a date. She was off campus again. She was in. She was so down for me. I entered a state skate competition in tucson and she like drove up to support me oh wow. i basically ate my run <laughs> i couldn't even do a power slide oh really yeah i ate my run hard was did anybody clap no <laughs> i couldn't even do it because i know how to do shove it's like i could yeah, do shove it yeah. with my eyes closed i couldn't even do a shove it all nerves that day. yeah it was all nerves did you but see anyway, her in the stands and then that she was it was one to- of those things where uh you know, like, uh, like you know, how, like in college games, the cheerleader sitting on the on the sideline. Yeah. She was like sitting in the no, no. She was cross-legged, just sitting there watching me. Steve. Yeah, but anyway, it was that kind You're of girl. Fan. It was that kind of girl, supportive. Yeah. Didn't wasn't even with me, so I ended up. I'm, I we might have went to what like um, Chili's or whatever. You know, that was like fancy for me. Chili's, you know. Took her chilies, went back to her apartment. We're at back at her apartment. Yeah, <laughs> chilies. Chilies. Chile, Chile. Chile, Chile. We're in her roommate's gone, uh-huh. gone for the weekend. Yeah. Just me and this brunette. Dim lights, <laughs> TV on. Let's get it all. We're on the love seat. Her knee is basically. Let's get it do, all. Like she's doing, like doing touching my knee. Doing one of those. And she's and literally. You know how, like, I didn't catch these cues. You don't catch. We you don't, don't catch, catch them. We, but there's they certain, all went over There's our heads. certain cues. Yeah. That, she hello. Put, she put my penis in her mouth. No, she didn't do that. And, like, I was like, does this girl like me? No, she didn't do that. But she was literally, like, like she, kept she's waving. She's doing all the flirty things. She was waving you. her hair and, like, getting. She, I could tell now in no. hindsight she was getting frustrated. 
she kept like doing that this. Her advancements weren't going anywhere. No, no, but she even step took it a step further, okay. and this is where yeah. she went to the. She gets up. She's frustrated. Like God, this kid can't take the hit. She goes into the bathroom, and puts this coconut like. Um, conditioner mousse <laughs> stuff it in her hair and so she comes back does this whole coconut hair thing and she goes uh, you want to smell my hair and she's like waving <laughs> she's waving her hair like in my face like duh kiss duh. me dummy I've got coconut product in my hair doesn't that tell you that I'm horny right now yeah so the same thing happened where she's doing this and like, like kids, like I'm giving yeah. you cues, where she gets frustrated, ends up going into a room and close. I'm always the guy left out. <laughs> I'm always the guy left out outside of the bedroom in the living room yeah. on the couch. Yeah. And so, same thing. She goes into her room, and I do the same fetal, <laughs> the fetal, <laughs> the pathetic fetal position. Can just with my eyes open, staring at the ground. Yeah. So, did you go to prom? Oh, you don't even want to talk. Why did you bring that? <laughs> Because I was going to tell. I have I'll tell. One. I'll tell a story. Oh, you tell yours. I'll tell mine, okay, and then okay, I'll tell okay, you. Okay, 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 okay. I got one for okay. that. <laughs> this is, you tell me can yours. I just tell you, this is like the most virgin quarantine episode of a podcast <laughs> I don't care. I love, ever. I don't care. It's like literally Steve's girlfriend is upset care. that we're doing this podcast. We both have ladies. We both have ladies we're taking in other walk places. Down yeah. Memory lane. It's yeah. the shame lane. When, t- when, when times okay, were very simple. But this is my favorite thing to do, by the way. I don't care. I, I love doing this. Let's hear your prom story. Okay, so I'll tell you mine. Okay, so I uh, literally uh, invited this friend to prom. Who she's amazing, and sh- and she like was a good friend. And I invited her kind of late. Like I I I didn't know if I was gonna go at all. And then like I, so similar, you know what I mean? So I'm similar like, to mine. I'm like oh. I don't, the, you start talking yourself out of things because you, you start being like, ah, no, I'm going to be a rebel or I'm going to be cool and eh, I don't want to like assimilate to whatever's going on, but you're really just making excuses yeah, no, I for you. reasons why. Dude, we are so similar. Continue. Yeah. I was the same yeah. way. Yeah, so uh, basically uh, I call my friend who I've liked for a while and she says yes and she you did lives it over, in... over the phone? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's uh, fine. Yeah, she lives in a different state. <laughs> I'm calling backup for, for this prom. I'm so sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so sad. I know. I was because you know why in my head. Why did you do call? Because a girl Steve, from a... because I was so okay, nervous. I can't judge you. I've done foolish things. Steve, I was so nervous. What, okay, what, what state was other she? Other people. She in Iowa. She was in Missouri. I was, she was in Kansas. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, continue. Yeah, yeah. But she lives several hours away. Of and course. I had met her at a church camp. And I just thought it was cool. Of course you met her at a church camp. <laughs> of course you did, Jeremiah. How else were you going to meet her? Of course it's church camp. Continue, Jeremiah. <laughs> so I, I invite her because, again, going back on, I'm worried about what other people think, right? Yeah. And I don't want to ask anybody who anybody knows at my high school. I'm like weird about it. You're, you're scared. I'm scared. I'm scared yeah. of what other people will think of, of me. Of course, me too. And th- this is the this is the most vulnerable I've talked about it's high okay. school stuff. It's, it's okay, okay though. Hopefully, this is the platform. This is, the platform. This is your platform. This is my- <laughs> Just know when you come back here for the fourth time, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. This is all we're gonna do <laughs> is talk about like church. Times yeah, yeah. And like bad decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with yeah. church people. Yeah. Yeah. So I invite her and she's down and uh I'm stoked. And the and the whole night go is going great. Like we had great like a great dinner. Like the group that we went in, all my friends love her. She's like she's awesome, right? Right. And this is what I this is what's weird about religion and stuff like that. Uh like that puts weird um it puts vices over certain thoughts, right? Absolutely. Okay. So for whatever reason, I thought this was okay, but I was afraid at the end of the night to, I'll get to that in a second. The whole night I'm grinding with her on the dance floor. You are? Oh yeah. Good for you. Like where I have a boner for like two hours straight. (laughs) (laughs) To the point 
I'm literally, it's, this is like a vivid memory that's ingrained in my head. 50 Cent is playing. I take it to the candy shop. I let you little lollipop. Dude, I am grinding with her. So wait, wait, hard. her butt? Yeah, her butt. And is it going up her butt crack? <laughs> no. Well, I mean, no. I was like, it was like still. But how was down. your boner? There's different ways your boner could be. Was it up I like this? I didn't tuck it up. I didn't tuck it up. So it's just like straight out. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's a sword. It's a sword. Your lightsaber stays <laughs> light sticking saber. out. So literally, so, I'm brushing it up against her butt cheeks. And it's straight on. And it's straight on. Lightsaber. Like, lightsaber. Yeah. It's going back and forth. She has a beaded dress on. I'm grinding with her so hard. What color was the dress? I think it was a black dress. Okay. I'm grinding with her so hard, beads are popping off the dress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing beads take roll on the, the ground. I'll take it to the candy shop. And it's a little <laughs> lollipop. And I'm just like going yeah, like the town. Yeah. And I did that for hours. At the end of the night, I didn't have the courage to kiss her on the mouth. <laughs> thought it was okay to do the other thing and then i couldn't even kiss her at the end of the night dude you were already at like second base i know that's like way further i know that's way further than it can way way dude what the hell i don't know what was going on through my head and it was okay hold up let's go back to the candy shop the candy was shop. she freaking you back there's a yeah. difference was she still or was she grinding no, you? she was like freaking oh, like she was grinding in it, dude. Penis, dude. Yeah. And, so and hey, guess what? Best part about this story? She was Asian, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, you should have done it. Yeah. You should have done yeah, it. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, okay. So, tell me how the end of the prom went. Tell me when you walked her to the door. Literally, the, you know when the lights turn on? The lights turn on at the end of the night, and they're like, all right, everybody, well, thank you for coming out to Blue Valley High School. Yeah, 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 <laughs> right? You know, the weird yeah, announcer like thing, light. like the yeah. strobe lights. Are, they play Ooh. Boys the Man. Yeah, it's a like, How could I yeah. <laughs> yeah. say goodbye <laughs> to yesterday? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, okay. So the lights turn back on, and instantly I go you back into reality. You're in headlights. I have a Did boner. <laughs> <laughs> I still have the boner. I still have it. I still have it. You son of I God. literally, I literally, okay, like, but now, I, like, they're on to me, though. But now the lights are on. I'm like, okay, freaking, like, oh, you know, when you start trying to think like of. someone splashing cold water yeah, in your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Reality you're, check and the real lights going. Yeah, so I, and so now I'm, like, freaking doing the weird walk yeah, thing. I'm like, so, yeah, did, yeah. You, did you have a good, do you have a good time tonight? <laughs> like, where you're leaning your back back, so, mm. you know, so, like, your crotch is not protruding as much. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, slowly goes down and, <laughs> and then we, you know, we get in the car and stuff and, and everything. And we had like the you, best time and everything was it like wasn't a limo. It was a car. Like usually don't kids they, they, you, cause sometimes we got a limo for homecoming and prom, but you didn't in this situation, I think which was smart. I don't think we got one yeah. for, Oh, I took her both years by the way. And <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I took her both years and didn't kiss her either year. Of course you did it. Of course you did it. Either year. Oh my god! And so the drive back. Um, are I you driving? I think, I think one. I think one year Little we did limo, or? and then another yeah. year we did. Yeah. I forget. I forget the, yeah. the details of of that. You know. But what? like literally yeah. one time, so we drove back. Oh, it was like uh the limo. Like we had driven to like a destination where the limo that way the limo didn't have to take every kid home got you, you know got what you, i mean got you, got so you. it was like like um we went back to the the one meeting spot so i took her in my mom's car i think yeah back to um my mom's uh because she had her car parked at mm -hmm. my mom's mm -hmm. and um yeah nothing oh, literally like like it was like <gasps> moonlit, everything like yeah, perfect. And I just completely Vibe. whiffed. You just dropped the ball. I was like, okay, uh, good night. <laughs> <laughs> after after I'd been grinding on her for like hours. Well, at least that's further than whatever I got on my prom. Yeah. I um. I was a senior, and 
I was the same way as you. Everyone had already asked the people. Yeah. So I'm like, I started getting, um, like, comp- like, uh, like, oh my god, like, anxious, like, oh. Of course. And so they're like, one of my friends was like, dude, Erica France. No one asked her, and Erica, she was a freshman, but she was like, the pretty, you know. Yeah. She was like the hot. Right. Freshman, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like. She was an up and comer. Yeah, she was an up and comer. <laughs> so I. I remember I had took a hall pass and I said, meet me, you know, and then like I did it in the hallway, you know, when people were in class and I go, will you go to prom with me? She goes, yeah. I go, ah, you know, and then and like did the whole, ah, you know, and then it was just, you know, so that's how it happened. So <laughs> keep in mind all my friends going, they've, they're not virgins. They, right. they they've already, already had their dates. They've already done it. On top of all that, they already pre-planned like, the the after party spot like they rented like before Airbnbs existed yeah they had these duplexes cool. all rented out with kegs and and I just remembered that like my friend Glenn's like bring your sleeping bag bro bring your you know he's I remember that bring my sleeping bag yeah which I did but I remember you know I'm thinking okay prom was fine did the slow dancing I didn't I didn't grind on her oh man I wish I did. And so we're, prom's done, and then everyone's like, hey, let's go to this, you know, we're going to the spot. I'm like, okay. And then I turn to my day, and she goes, oh, no, I got to get back at 9. <laughs> so I go, what? Oh. She was, speaking of churches, she was basically the preacher's daughter. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah. Right? Ooh. Like, the pas- like the pasture. Right, right, right. Daughter. Mm-hmm. I had to get there at nine. Oh man! So, <laughs> <the> drive, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember. Donde esta tu chile? <laughs> <laughs> no tengo. No tengo. No chile. tengo chile. No. I went there, and then the same thing as you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but this is the where it gets really painful for me. Yeah. So I had to go back to the bungalows, the party bungalows, where Wait. everyone is coupled oh. up. I'm talking, they're already basically having sex, and you know what I mean? And so I remember, this is where the sleeping bag is. <laughs> so I'm basically, I always end up, not on the couch, but I'm on the ground yeah. somewhere in one of these rooms, like the living room, but there's already couples like making out and basically oh. having sex. I remember me being like in my sleeping bag, just watching everybody like, like this. So pathetic. Ten scissors and we'll end it. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Finished. Uh, let's do. Let's plug all your stuff. We're gonna every time you come here, we're gonna do these stories because I love. I I don't care. I love it so much because you know what? Because it helps that it helps people too. Yeah. Because what if it's some other kid Could that's be. like you know I'm just I don't know if Tanya's gonna yeah it's like dude don't listen to your head go yeah Nike what is Nike's just do it. Say it again. Just do it. One more time. Just do it. Is that three times? Yes, it is. Just do yeah, it. Yeah, don't don't be inside your head. Don't don't be fearful of of what other people think of you. Yeah. You might miss out on something that you will regret. Give him two other pieces of advice. Uh, a kid's alone in his dorm room in the dark, sad. What do you tell the kid? Um, go he, on a walk. Go outside. Let some sunlight and sunshine into your life, and it may just improve your mood. The, a kid's alone in his dorm room, mm-hmm. and everyone else is out meeting people, and they, they're afraid to talk to girls. What do you tell the kid? That can be you if you want it. It's literally all up to you mm-hmm. how much you want to put yourself out there. Mm-hmm. The worst thing that's going to happen is never really that bad. 
socially and just it's putting not. yourself out there. The amount, like, like as far as like stand up goes and stuff like that. Yeah. Because people will ask me, they're like, "Are you afraid to yeah. do stand up?" Yeah. Like, especially when I was starting out, it's just like. The worst thing that's going to happen is that people just don't like you for a little while. <laughs> you had a funny story. With, didn't you open up for Bob at some convention, like some oh, yeah. corporate event? <laughs> yeah. But that was the worst thing that could have happened. Well, th- that Where that's was, a fond memory because because Bobby. Bobby set you up. Well, he, he yeah. yeah he he knew that I was going to bomb. Yeah. Because I wasn't on, I wasn't even on the, the billing or anything. <laughs> But that's fine. And, uh, and, he want to bring you. And his and his laugh was the only laugh in that entire convention center. And that that is that's the fun part because <laughs> that's, that's the one you that's want. the part of the memory for me where <laughs> yeah. like I started laughing <laughs> yeah. because I heard Bobby's laugh, and I was like, oh, you... this is exactly what he told me was gonna happen. It was like, <laughs> it was like fulfilling the prophecy. <laughs> that's so crazy. But dude, you got you made it through that. Yeah. Unscathed. Oh yeah, for sure. One more piece of advice. Oh, can I give one? Yeah. Uh, guys, if you're in a co-ed dorm, just look. Just work with your environment. You don't have to go out there, out to this dorm, out there to a different state. Yeah, you just work. <laughs> you work with the what ones in your dorm. Yeah, and also another thing. If on the flip side of thing to play devil's advocate, yeah. If you're not wanting to be outgoing and stuff like that, that's like fine. like we're like we're being very specific with like with the stories that we're sharing about like how ignorant we were, yeah, and like how we how super virgins we were. But also, but it's due to self centered fear as yeah, well. Yeah, it's due to yeah, self centered yeah. fear. But if you if that's something that you want, then that's chill too. That's fine. Yeah. But don't let that prevent you because I think a lot of them are they're preventing themselves for like experiencing life. Right. So if that's yeah. the case, you got to just don't put restrictions on yourself for no reason. Right. You just got to walk through it basically. Right. Was that good? I had a lot of fun. I hope. I mean, that- Ren, was that good for the, was that good advice for? Yeah. I'm listening. I mean, I'm, I'm taking notes. Cause I, I've had some moments too. Yeah, he's got a bunch of stories. We'll oh. talk after about that. Yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. a bunch of stories. And yeah, I, this... I just I just want this episode to live up to the episode that you did on Jeremiah Wonders because Oh, nothing's was... gonna measure up. To... I mean, that was a classic. That was phenomenal. That was a dude. classic code. Phenomenal, yeah. dude. Because the thing about that, I didn't even know you're recording. Oh yeah. Yeah, I thought you know, I was drinking my coffee. I'm that was like, great. Yeah. That was did, great. Do people like it? They loved it. Okay. They loved it. Okay, good. And good also luck. I'll recommend people if if you've seen Steve on Jeremiah Wonders. Mm-hmm. There's three episodes of him on there, which okay, like some start, people, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, some people didn't watch the second one as much for yeah. whatever reason. Like they watched the first one and the third one. Mm-hmm. Number two is fantastic too. Don't I like know. the trilogy the is really that, strong. I, I don't want to bring up, you know, cause I'm not going to bring up the past, but you were, you were there during the, my whole roller coaster ride. Yeah. During my whole, I'm not going to get know. in depth. I know. I but know. During my whole, I literally in the pro- thick of you it. You were there the right the day after. I remember? Know. Yeah. You came over and you're upset. My voice and yeah. And because you're stressed. Whole, yeah, yeah. I was stressed so hard. Yeah. Um, let's, can we plug, um, your future show, show dates, your website, your oh, inst- sh- everything, sure. everything real, real quick. Jeremiah stand up on all social media. And then, uh, I've got a YouTube page, youtube.com slash Jeremiah Watkins. And, mm-hmm. uh, Jeremiah Watkins.com has, videos and on all that stuff but yeah and jeremiah wonders is jeremiah is wonders is the name of the podcast what's your youtube channel again youtube.com slash jeremiah watkins can you spell it out for them j-e-r-e-m-i-a-h-w-a-t-k-i-n-s j-e-r-e-m-i-a-h-w-a-t-k-i-n-s was that correct yeah Yes. Okay. Support and subscribe to Jeremiah Wonders today. We have a Patreon attached to the show. Go to patreon.com slash Weeby and make that pledge. If you want to support the podcast, you're free to do so. Our newest patrons this week are Dalton Weinstock, Bree Travis, and Fawn Huang. Uh, I do have a new EP uh, out uh, digitally on my Bandcamp 
Ode to My Pops. Go to StevieWeebyBandCamp.com to check that out. I have a website, StevieWeebyShow.com, if you want to get a shirt or whatnot. Uh, we're almost done with the new music video. It should be done in about two weeks or so or a week and a half. We're so close to finishing. Um, is the post office still open or no? Are they closed as well? Uh, they're, they're open. Okay, so yeah, if yeah. you want to send stuff to my P.O. box, set it to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. And I have a bit of good news for you Little Ray fans. It's time for Little Ray's show. Can we do a picture? Yeah. Welcome to Lil Ray's World Show. All I gotta say is kids' minds must grow. I got abducted by some aliens and dropped in snow. Whoa. Stuck into a world that I do not know. So join me in adventures now. And I promise not to have a cow My name is Little Ray Hey, hey My name is Little Ray Hey, hey, hey So welcome to my world To all the boys and girls Welcome to Little Ray What the hell do we got this week, Beep? Looks like a goddamn dog toy. Hey, what's your name, partner? Why are you here? Your name is Corona the Virus. That's a goddamn lie. Corona is a great tasting Mexican beer, man. Tell me who you really are. You are a lethal virus, and you infected my friend Titus. And how did you come to be, man? You're telling me a Chinese man ate a goddamn bat, and then that man got sick with a virus that mutated, and now it's infecting the whole damn world? So you're saying these humans are quarantined, and when they do leave, they're buying out all the goddamn cans of soup, water, paper towels, loaves of bread, and toilet paper, man? <sighs> well, at least y'all know how me and Beep have felt for two years. We wrote a song about you, and it goes like this, partner. This one's about Corona the virus. Me and Beep are sending our prayers. Mm. Corona's not a fear, it's a god dang virus My friend Titus told me about it With a sore throat, <coughs> coughing up with dryness He's in a tough spot like trials of Osiris Look into my iris, is there a pandemic On the planet Earth that was my turf, why'd you let it? Out of Wuhan with the bat that flew on Caught by a China in about two weeks for another episode of Lil Ray's World, man. And make sure you go to StevieWeebyShow.com and get yourself a kick-ass t-shirt, man. Let's get her done. <laughs>